There's very, very little decent stuff out there. And uh, we thought, well, why don't we first started off by producing a few of our own videos to help the learners yeah. because sometimes with the tasks we broke the, some of the long tasks down into shorter segments and because of the generation of, of YouTube and stuff like that we thought we would uh, create our own little videos to, to give us a hand in the workshops really. I show my students the video in the classroom before I take them into the workshop and this way we can stop the video and discuss the health and safety elements. So when I take my students down to the workshop, they're aware of where to get the health and safety equipment, where to wash the hands, where to get the latex gloves, etc. It had a good snowball effect. When one learner was there doing a job and he was his practical task and he was getting filmed, other learners would say, oh, is it, hmm, oh, is that what it is? Can I do one? Can I get involved? Oh, I would like to be fitting, hanging the door or, or doing the letter plate. So yeah, it did. Yeah. The benefit they've got from the films is they can use the videos within the workshop, they can use it to compare the work that they're doing at the time, look at ways they can improve the work, and they can also download the videos at home off the internet so they can get themselves prepared for the next day of college and also get themselves ready for the world of work. Our college must be like a lot of other colleges down the country. We have a very small minority of female learners in construction and uh, Debbie was really keen to show other the student, female students, women can do construction as well and it's a good career, a good career. Well I think it's actually given them more confidence to actually carry out the tests, uh, to actually carry out things that they would do on, on site but also in the past you may have students that have been reticent to approach a shooter thinking I've already asked him something about this or I've asked him twice on this point whereas what they can do now they can actually just look at the video, check that themselves and if everything's fine they can carry on but they feel more confident about coming to me and saying I've just watched this video and actually I'm just not sure about this little point and it just means it gives them more confidence to approach me to get on with things it helps them to progress actually within the classroom which inevitably will help them to uh, progress when it comes to actually site work too. Uh, the greatest one was when the learner come in carried out a task to a really high standard and we said to him wow you've done that fantastic with very little support. How did you how did you know? Oh I watched it on my mobile in the break time. And he was sat in a corridor somewhere watching the video when everyone else was at break. So when he came in he got straight on with the task. He knew what tools to use, he knew what methods to use with very, very little guidance. It's difficult for maybe 14 to 16 students to all see clearly what I'm trying to demonstrate. The benefits of the video is that we can show them in the classroom and they can all get a clear view of what I'm trying to explain while I'm teaching. We had one learner on, on the level two group and very early on in the course he, he was getting to the stage where we was having to sit down with him about his uh, concentration, attention to the, to the practical yeah. sessions and we, we discussed with him and he was getting to the point where we was going to have to go down the like actions yeah. and stuff. Well, at one point we, we suggested he get involved in, yeah. would you like to have a go at doing the video? Yeah. And that changed him around, because after that day of doing the first video, he, he enjoyed it so much, yeah. he, he says, oh, can I do another one, can I do another one? And we was thinking, well, that's fantastic, yeah. because he was so then, he, was, he had his mind set on creating a good video and creating the, the good task. Yeah. So much so, at the end of the year, we awarded him, we awarded him uh, Learner of the Year.